this is Cynthia from My Sister Scrapper. Today I want to share a project with you that I created using Echo Park's Warm and Cozy Collection. Um, the project I'm going to share with you is actually going to be a class project that I will be teaching virtually. And you're going to say, well, how do I get into the class? The way to get into the class is you need to purchase your kit. And, well, where do I purchase the kits? The kits can be purchased from two different locations. You can purchase a kit from Creative Chaos in Circleville, Ohio, and you, again, this is going to be a virtual class, so they will ship kits to you, so you don't have to live in that area to buy your kit. Just contact the store and they with your information, and they will ship out your kit to you. Also, you can uh, purchase a kit from Simple Pleasure Scrapbooking in Colorado Springs. Again, you don't have to live in that area because it will be a virtual class. All you have to do is purchase your kit at one of those two locations, and again, they will ship the kits out to you. Um, they'll have all the information as far as the cost of the kits and all that good stuff. Once you purchase your kit, they will add you to the Facebook group where I will be teaching the actual project. Um, again, we're using Warm and Cozy, and your kit is jam-packed. I mean, jam-packed. Um, lots of chipboard elements, two different ones, lots of ephemera, lots of paper, the whole collection, plus the solids that match. Anyway, really, really fun. Um, another thing about this project is that you're not going to have to construct a book from scratch. We are going to be using one of the Graphic 45 uh, rectangle pocket and tag albums. So that's another thing. But what we're going to do is you're going to learn a couple techniques in this class on how to alter the book to create some interactive elements to add to it, to add back in. So what we've done on the front cover, again, the book's going to be black, and I did pop off the little metal ring here. Now, also, if you don't want to pop that off, some people don't want to do that, um, I'm just going to show you another way in the class how you can just um, leave it on there and add your design paper anyway. It would just be a little bit narrower. So we've got some chipboard here, chipboard here, stickers, uh, cut apart, some more chipboard layered up. You even get some fun enamel dots in the collection. And then here is the spine, and then here is the back. And I added one of the um, ephemera pieces, the labels here to the back, and then I put the little winter sticker on the back here, and I love this wood paper right here. So again, it's a pre-made album, so it's a Graphic 45 uh, rectangle pocket and tag, and it will be in the black. However, do when I, when I do teach the class, I'm going to be showing you the ivory version just because it's easier to see on video. So on the inside front cover, this is where we're going to make our own interactive elements using some of the things that we do out of the... Um, from the book. Again, we've got chipboard here, we've got some more enamel dots, some more chipboard, lots of chipboard layered up here, some stickers, and then this flips up. You have another little sticker here. You know, that's a ephemera die cut, some more ephemera here. This is a little pocket. We're going to take two of the tags and trim them down and make them just little short, cute ones. And then also, if you don't happen to own the Graphic 45 dies to die cut your um, pieces, you, I'll just give the, you the measurements so you can just do a rectangle, just like we did before we ever had the fabulous dies. But really, I mean, who are you people that don't own the dies? I'm sure that if you call to order your kit, those girls would love to sell you the dies as well. <laughs> so if you don't own them, I think they're personally, I think they're a must-have. So that goes back in that little pocket right there. <clears throat> and then this flips up. And again, we have another little ephemera piece and another ephemera down here. So that's our first interactive element that we're going to be adding. And I didn't use any magnets in this because I think the chipboard weighs it down enough that it doesn't flop around. So over here we have another um, 4x6 card, some more enamel dots, and then again I layered the chipboard elements that match this cute ephemera card just to give it some dimension and kind of make a little scene there. So then you'd flip the page over. Again, I have another little text spot with a journal spot, journal card, another sticker, some more stickers, some more stickers. Look at the cute truck, just adorable. And then these are the tags that come with the um, the book itself. So you're going to get six tags. Four we're going to keep intact, and two we're going to trim down. And then on the side of each one of the page units, we've got um, some photo inserts. And then again, we've got the chipboard with the matching coordinating sticker to be the pull tab. So I thought that was kind of a cute idea. So those will go back in there. And then you flip it over. Again, we have another pocket here. Some more journal cards, another sticker, border strip from the paper. And then over here, we have another 4x6 journal card that we just matted right here. You can get a lot of photos in here. So on this side, um, 
We've got two photo mats right here. We got some more chipboard elements layered up. And then um, I did leave this open to slide the photo underneath. It says warm winter nights. And then this one kind of goes with it. We've got another chipboard element here. So then we're ready for the unit two. Again, we have another text spot with another ephemera piece and another cute sticker. Some more ephemera pieces and another card. This paper is so adorable. Oh my gosh, I love it. And then again, another, um, these are all gonna be just the, so the solids that come with the collection. So they're one color on one side and one on the other, which made it really cool. And then we have the little uh, chipboard pull tabs. You can round those corners if you want. I just opted not to this time. Don't ask me why. <laughs> again, some cute snowflakes and some more um, four by four and three by four journal cards from the paper. Another little text spot, a little sticker that says winter, and another three by four journal card and a piece of ephemera. So then over here, this is um, some more interactive elements that we're gonna create. We got a big space here, cause um, what we did is we altered the book a little bit, and then we added this really cute little piece of design paper here with all the little wooden logs. So these are supposed to be kind of a mirror image as close as I could get it. Um, so we've got a journal card here. We've got a chipboard element and some cute little enamel dots. And then you flip it up. And again, it's just like the first one on the first inside front cover, but this is a little bit bigger. So again, I left that open. Again, we have a sticker. And then we have a cute little insert here. This is a three by four card that I just mounted on some of the solids. That goes back in there. And then you flip it up. And again, we have another little journal card that I put on the blue paper, cut around it. So they're three by four cards and they're mounted on a three and a quarter by four and a quarter um, solid. And then again, I have a border sticker here with some more of the blue snowball paper. Now when you get your kit, um, you will get a cutting guide. So you, if, the sooner you order your kit, you can get your stuff all prepped and ready to go and um, be ready for the class. Uh, they'll, again, they'll have all the dates and the times and all that good stuff and the cost of the kit um, when you contact the store to purchase. So again, we have another fun little chipboard element here. And again, this is a mirror image. So I've got the um, enamel dots. And if you'll notice when I open them up, I've always got my pockets facing so my tags will pull out. That's just a personal thing for me. I don't like to have anything pull out towards the spine. I just, it, I think it's awkward um, and it gets sometimes if your pages aren't going to lay flat, it's kind of hard to get them out. So this is why I do it this way, but they're kind of a mirror image. So this one will flip up like this. Super cute. Again, some more um, journal cards, some more ephemera, and then the continuation of that sticker right there. So now we're on unit four. <laughs> So you flip it over and again, I have a, another photo mat that I made and again, another tag from the ephemera pieces. Again, some more ephemera, a little snow fun sticker, a little sled sticker and another graphic 45 tag. And then here is the insert for this one with the fun little animals on it. I thought this was really cool that they had chipboard that matched the little sticker. So that made it great to make pull tabs. <laughs> Very clever. Over here, again, I have another four by six uh, cut apart, and then I've got some enamel dots and a cute little chipboard moose sticker. And over here, I've got a sticker here with some ephemera, a couple of chipboard elements that I layered on top and another photo mat. So the last in unit, we've got a tuck spot here with a three by four journal card, cute little banner sticker. The rest of it's over here, it says snuggle up. And I love this paper right here. So pretty, a little wooden cabin. And then we've got this one here with the cute little, again, chipboard tag, and then the little sticker that coordinates that matches. So cute. Over here, again, another piece of ephemera, another 4x4 journal card, another 4x4 uh, ephemera piece. We've got the little cute little cardinal sticker there, and I made a little photo mat to tuck in there, and then made it just a little banner to flag the ends of a strip of paper. And over here, again, we have another four by six card, another chipboard tag, and then two more little enamel dots. And on the back inside cover is the same element as the front, but again, I've got it so my insert, instead of pulling out this way, my insert's pulling out away from the spine. Chipboard here, cute chipboard truck, chipboard sled. I made a little banner with the wood pick grain paper. And then again, some stickers here on top, some ephemera. Again, another piece of ephemera, and here's a little short, little cute, <laughs> tag for this one and then you flip it up again some more stickers and a little snowman sticker and a little banner sticker here with some more design paper 
and that is the back. So there you go, everybody. That's the really fun project. I'm super excited about, te for, about teaching this for um, Kathy Smith from Simple Pleasures and for Angela Beavers from Creative Chaos. So make sure you contact either one of those stores to purchase your kit. And um, I'll have the information, their contact information in the description box below. So there you have it, everybody. Make sure you join in because it's going to be really, really fun. Again, it's warm and cozy Echo Park. There you have it. Thanks for watching. Bye.